Hello, this is SimsArt, and today we're going to talk about some of the new features of Clip Studio Paint 2. Clip Studio Paint 2 has many new features. During this first of two videos, I will focus on the ones that better work while working on comics and webcomics. We will talk about texture feature improvement, align and distribute feature, object tool multiple selection support, background save feature, 3D drawing head figure, 3D manipulator display option, distance fogging feature, straighten of 3D camera, create a new 3D layer with selecting the pose of 3D drawing figure, change sex of the 3D drawing figure, insert delete vertical space feature, shading assist feature and hand scanner. Object tool multiple selection support. It's now possible to select multiple objects like text or 3D objects at the same time. This is particularly useful in combination with the Align and Distribute feature. Align and Distribute feature This is an extremely useful feature for aligning objects like text, layer, folders, 3D object in an ordered manner. It works in combination with the multiple selection. It can be for example used to give a group of panels an equal distance and align them according to the situation. Text feature improvement. When working with comics and web comics, text is an important aspect. In Clip Studio Paint 2, it's now possible to select multiple text layers and edit all the text layers at the same time. Another feature is the word wrap that now allows to break the lines using spaces and boundaries and avoiding the text being truncated at the end of a line. With a backward compatibility, we can display the text also with the previous versions of Clip Studio Paint. Background Save feature With this feature, it is finally possible to keep working while the file is saving in the background. An icon will appear next to the title tab while this is occurring. 3D Drawing Head Figure a head figure has been added in Clip Studio Paint 2. This 3D model allows many edits to fit the type of head shape we are going to design. It's great to easily set a reference image for our drawings, keeping the face design consistent. Moving the light placement, it's also possible to study how the light hits the face of a character under a certain type of light. Multiple lights can be set and their color can be changed. Altogether, Head, shapes and lights makes this a really powerful tool. 3D Manipulator Display Option It's now possible to turn off the visibility of the manipulators of a 3D object. Selecting it with the Object tool and going in the Subtool Detail window operation and deselecting the on-screen manipulators we don't want to see. Distance Fogging Feature Many comic and webcomic artists use the 3D model for their backgrounds. With the distance fogging feature, it's possible to create a layer with multiple 3D objects and apply a fog level to the layer so that the 3D objects will fade away while getting away from the camera. It can be set to color for the fog, a starting point and a depth level. However, I find that the auto-adjust works pretty well when it comes to evaluate the starting point. Straighten the 3D camera. While manipulating the 3D objects in Clip Studio Paint 2, the perspective will be automatically switched to a 3-point perspective. With the straighten feature, located in the Lens tab in the sub-tool detail of the 3D object we are manipulating, we can revert the model back to a 2-point perspective, making the vertical lines perfectly straight. This tool is extremely useful in comics where a 3-point perspective isn't necessary. Create a new 3D layer with selecting the pose of a 3D drawing figure. It's now easy to select a new 3D figure and quickly assign a pose right off the bat. Select the layer, new layer, 3D drawing figure, then select a 3D drawing figure and select next. At this point, we can select a body pose or select without selecting any pose. The character will be placed on a canvas with already a pose assigned. Change sex of 3D drawing figure. When a 3D drawing figure is selected, it's easy to change their sex going in the subtool detail window, 3D drawing figure, and selecting the sex. Insert and delete vertical space feature. This is an absolute lifesaver 
for vertical webcomic artists. When having multiple panels already in place, it is now possible to remove a gap between them or alternatively add a gap to insert a new panel. It can be launched going in Edit, Insert or Delete Vertical Space and then Insert. The area can be adjusted using the numbers in the pop-up panel or directly with the handlers on screen. Deselecting the option Adjust Canvas Size Accordingly will not change the canvas size but only remove or create a blank space of the size we selected. Shading Assist feature The Shading Assist feature can be useful for beginners to visualize how to simplify the light on a line art we just made. It works with a base color layer, so we will still need to select and fill the areas to color, but once the area is selected, going to Edit and Shade Assist will show us how the light may behave on a certain shape. We can control the shadow technique picking between smooth or hard edges, called cell shading. These two will completely change the menu. Let's start from cell shading shadow type. The first thing we can notice is a blue handler on the screen. This indicates the location of the light. Once we place the light in the area we want, we can already see that the shadows on our project will change accordingly. Under the shadow type we selected, we can see a bar that shows three sections with numbers. This indicates that the program will now shade using three values. We can change the ratio of each value and remove or add values. We can select up to four values for the cell shading method. The next option is selecting the color of the blending mode of each level. We can select the type of light source. The two options include the direction light, where we can only select the angle of the light or a ball light that will allow us to move the light source close or far away from the object we are shading. Finally, we can select, in case we have one, to refer the shading line's contours to the lines of a reference layer and select the strength which will increase the accuracy with which the program will follow those referenced lines. Moving to the second method, smooth shading, we will have the same menu with the difference that the bar and the different value level won't be there anymore. Instead, we'll be replaced by two sections called Highlights and Shadows. Both sections will allow us to select the color, the blending mode used by the highlights or the shadow, the strength and the level of blurriness we want for the edges. The color can be one of the layers we are currently using as a base for the shading or an arbitrary color. In case we select the layer color, we will get the chance to make the highlights or shadow slightly different in hue and saturation, getting a more realistic representation of the shading in a specific light condition. Hand Scanner It's now possible to change the position of the hand on a mannequin with the camera. Just connect any capture device to your device and select a 3D mode. Then, in the bar immediately under the model, it's possible to select the hand scanner. Following the menu will easily allow us to turn on the capture device and make the mannequin hand assume the hand pose we are showing to the camera in real time. With this feature, this video comes to an end, but we will check more options available in this new version of Clip Studio Paint 2 in the next video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.